today we're going to take a look at the new Oracle LED light bar installation on the Hummer EV. This light bar is super slick and slim. The light bar brackets are designed to lower the light bar as low as possible so you can still see the factory cab lights while giving it a really low profile design which reduces wind noise. We're going to take you through all the steps on the installation. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step is we need to remove these two screws on the top portion here. We're gonna use a T40 Torx to do so. And then this is just held in with some clips so that pops out like so. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we're ready to install our bracket. We're gonna go logo side out, rubber side down. We're gonna drop this in place. And then using the hardware included with the kit, We'll go ahead and replace the bolt here using our 13 millimeter or half inch socket. We'll go ahead and tighten this down. We go pretty loose at first. Once we get the light bar installed, we'll actually come back and torque this down. Now, the next step is optional, but we recommend it. The gasket included in the box installs on the upper portion of the windshield and what this does is reduces the overall wind noise that you're going to hear in the vehicle. All right this next step is going to require a second set of hands to go ahead and set the light bar in place between the brackets. All right now we just need to go back and go ahead and torque the 13 millimeter bolt holding the bracket to the truck and the 13 millimeter bolt holding the bracket to the light bar. All right, so now with the light bar installed, you can see that the gasket is now totally hidden by the light bar. So what we'll do now is we'll take the wire and we're gonna run it down the A-pillar. We're gonna push it down between the windshield and this piece of molding here. Basically, it'll come out the bottom and then down. We'll route it here and then across the back of the firewall in the front. All right, so now we're gonna take care of the wiring on this Hummer. There's a couple different ways to do this. One, you can connect it to the factory auxiliary switches if your vehicle is equipped with those. The second option is you can use our relay harness. And there's a switch on here that'll go inside the cabin to be able to turn the lights on and off. But if you're planning on adding more than just one lighting product to your Hummer, one good option is the trigger system. This is basically an option to add auxiliary lights to your vehicle with an aftermarket solution. It features a wireless uh, switch system as well as an app where you can actually turn the lights on and off from your phone. It's really easy to install. It's well built. It's a really good product. So we recommend this as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to install this harness. And then for the auxiliary switches, we're gonna show you how to do that installation at the very end of the video. All right, so we've got our relay harness here. We'll mount this inside here next to the battery. We've got our ground. We'll connect this to the ground terminal here. And then our power will connect it to the battery power. Lastly, we've got a switch that basically is just on or off. We'll run that inside the cabin so that we can turn the lights on and off from the driver's seat. All right, switch is peel and stick. We'll remove the adhesive backing and stick it somewhere like here where it's out of the way. And we will run it behind the gasket here. And then through this opening here into the engine bay. All right, so that's the installation. 
This light bar is crazy bright with over 18,000 lumens and it projects light 2,000 feet down the road. This light bar also has these cool amber clearance lights that match the factory cab lights perfectly. And you could also switch those to white with the flip of a switch to be able to match the white Hummer logo across the front of the vehicle here. So if you'd like to find out more about this or other great products for your Hummer, be sure to visit oraclelights.com or call us at 1-800-407-5776. So we're connected to AUX4. When we press AUX4, the lights are turning on and off. So one thing we can do here is go ahead and edit this. Edit AUX4. What we'll do is bring us to a screen like this. So we can go ahead and change the image of what this looks like. And so these will be our Sasquatch lights. And then we could also go in here and change the text here. So since these are our Oracle Vega lights, we're gonna go ahead and change these to Vega and save. You can also do a couple things here. Turn on one button cell down. It is, makes it basically a momentary switch and then turn on parking lights while switch is on. Uh, that doesn't really help us in this situation. So we'll go ahead and leave it like that. And now we've got our Vega programmed here to AUX4. So if you've got the factory AUX switches, that's how you use that. But again, if you have a uh, non AUX switch vehicle, there are some aftermarket options that we'll put in the link in the description as well as a pre-wired switch kit that you could use as well.